Criticizing anything is the easiest thing to do. The most positive thing to do is to say, okay, what is it that I can do to maybe make a difference? Patient and family-centered care is really about partnerships. It's partnering with our healthcare teams, with the people that we serve and with their family members. Being able to have conversations, inviting people to the table, and problem solving together to figure out what we should be doing to serve a person. Patients and family is the business we're in. It's the work that we do and in my view we have to partner with them. They need to be part of our care team. It's the only way that we can actually provide consistent and comprehensive care. What we needed was to increase partnership and collaboration with patients and families and actually invite them to be members at the table. There's no one better to share that patient and family voice than the patients and families themselves. I'm so glad to be able to see that healthcare professionals are actually listening to the patients and implementing their input into operations and how they do their jobs. I felt like my opinions have mattered immediately after my first meeting with them. I got a few requests for my input and I was so surprised at how well I was received and how much they valued what I had to say. It was so refreshing. It was heartwarming. We have patient and family partners involved throughout our organization and I'm really proud of that. We've made huge strides in the last three years and we've gone from having patient and family partners involved in a few places here and there to having them at our board level um, quality committee. We have them at program level quality and safety committee, strategic advisory committees, projects. We are have a new build coming up with Providence Healthcare so with that they will be involved. We've had them involved in some of our different patient health education materials. So if you're coming in for, say, a heart operation, we give you a pamphlet. Well, those used to be written by healthcare professionals, but now they're written in conjunction with patient partners. And they go through a committee, which has patient partners on it, that can say, actually, this doesn't make sense for us as the public. So maybe word it this way, and we run that back with the care providers. So it's mutually beneficial to both. We as healthcare providers very often just lapse into terminology and jargon. We just have to remind ourselves to slow down and just make sure that everybody in the room is on the same page and, and understands exactly what we're talking about. Just imagine <laughs> that you're not a nurse and that you don't understand what's going on and that you're totally naive to this, this subject matter and what's happening and the uncertainty is unbelievable. It's been that, you know, us working together getting through that, that we kind of get out of and think about it slightly differently. We're looking at other opportunities to engage with patients and families to have their input into, in this case, hiring staff and through that process identifying people that have the same kind of commitment as individuals to patient family centered care as the organization does. I think this is really important because a patient perspective is entirely different than the staff perspective when you're hiring people. What really matters is your life experiences and particularly in this case your journey in our healthcare system. I've learned that working with patient and family partners they have so many hidden talents. They bring the lens of the patient and the family but they also bring you know the lens from their career, the lens from their other volunteerism and the amount that they're willing to give is unparalleled. I've been surprised over and over again by the amount of time and commitment that people have to helping us improve our healthcare system. You know, I think for most of us, when we're laying on our deathbed, one of the things we would like to know is that we've actually had an opportunity, whatever that looks like, to make a difference in someone's life. And so by volunteering in the healthcare system, you may not be able to identify the actual people that you've made a difference to, but you know from the outcome that it is going to make a difference.